If you're a software engineer and you've always wanted to understand the code base behind large or small GitHub repositories of projects that you have found interesting, then this video is for you. This is not a sponsored video of any kind, but instead it's a video that's going to talk about how you can analyze and understand the code behind any GitHub repository out there. And I'm talking about the entire system design architecture, the reasoning behind different functions of that code base, the entire way the code base is architected and compiled and coupled to work with each other. Basically everything and anything that's present in a given GitHub repository's code base, you can understand with the help of this tool called DeepWiki, which is powered by Devin. Now, thanks to this AI LLM era that we get to observe such immense power and be able to do such amazing things such as this. Now, if ever in the future you used any certain library in your code base, which you found interesting and you've always wondered how this works behind the scenes, you can always analyze that repository from this website and get to know how the code base of that library works behind the scenes and get a better understanding and ultimately make yourself a better software engineer who also goes on ahead to make better projects with a greater level of understanding because you'll have the knowledge of all these great repositories that outshine many other code bases. So let's just dive straight into it. For example, in the home page of this website itself, you can see there's a search bar which says which repo would you like to understand and you can select anything from here or you can also go ahead and search for a repository. For example, let's say I have worked with ReactJS quite a lot. And if you have worked with ReactJS, then a great library out there is TanStack Query. So if I just search for TanStack Query over here, TanStack Query, then this is a very nice library, which is a great replacement for, let's say, RTK Query in, in Redux Toolkit or use SWR. Basically, TanStack Query helps you do data fetching in your ReactJS application, but in a much more advanced and simpler way with a greater developer experience. For example, it will automatically handle caching of all the API calls that you do. It also handles background updates and stale data out of the box with zero configuration. So a lot of the things such as when you make an API call, how the response of that API call gets cached, when that cache should get removed and let's say when you go to another tab and then come back to your come back to that same website when should you do background updates so that you can refetch that api call and update the cache response so basically all of this is handled by tanstack query and one would really want to understand how the code base of tanstack query was architected because it's also going to help you as a developer to get better at your coding skills so with the help of this tool called DeepWiki, what I can do is over here, I can just simply search for Tan Stack and I get a bunch of different repositories that come under the Tan Stack tag name. And I wanted to specifically read about the Tan Stack query. So I'll click over here. And as you can see, once I clicked, I am getting a full overview, a full in depth overview of the Tan Stack query GitHub repo code base. And not just that, along with that, I also get this chatbot over here to which I can ask specifically about any portion of this code base that I didn't understand to elaborate further and help me understand things in a much better way. So for example, here you can see in its overview, it says Tanstack, Tanstack Query is a data fetching and state management library designed for handling asynchronous data in JavaScript and TypeScript applications. It prevents a consistent API for fetching, caching, and updating remote data across multiple front-end frameworks, including React, Swell, Solid, and Angular. And that was quite easy to understand. And over here, you can see if I go here in the overview section, you get to read the architecture, the packages within Tanstack query, the people who are contributing, and then the core concepts within the Tanstack query, basically the core handlers methods within the Tanstack query code base, which you probably use in your application when you use the Tanstack query app. So for example, how the Tanstack query client works, how you can use its main query client and utilize it to create caching of your API responses, how you can do queries and mutations, which are nothing but get, post, update calls, and so on, and how the life cycle of those queries are orchestrated. So let's say if I click over here, queries and mutations. So this page describes the two primary methods for interacting with external data sources in Tanstack query. So queries and mutations. Queries are nothing but get requests. Mutations are nothing but post put requests and so on. So queries are used for fetching data, while mutations are used for modifying data or performing server side effects. For information about the query lifecycle, see query lifecycle over here or for advanced features like pagination and infinite queries, see advanced features. If I click on this, it takes me to this advanced feature place where I can read about all of this as well, along with diagrams to help understand things better. Now, isn't that beautiful? There's even basic usage examples and so much more information 
all given to you in a much simpler manner for example let's say in this architecture part over here if i scroll down and i go over here let's say query deduplication so tanstack query automatically deduplicates identical queries that are executed simultaneously preventing redundant network requests now what i would think this means is well let's say if you have two get requests which are similar and you don't need to make two different API calls in the network. Tanstack query is automatically going to handle this for you and make sure only one network call is sent out instead of two network calls for the same request. But if you didn't understand this properly, then you can do something like this. I can highlight this. And when I highlight, you can see I get something called add to context press Q. If I press Q, it gets added over here as the context. And based on that context, I can write over here saying, could you please elaborate and explain this section to me in a simpler manner and i can press enter but before that notice there's also this deep research toggle over here which is going to do a further deeper research and try to explain you in a more deeper manner but instead of that i'm just going to press enter right away and let's see what happens so it goes to a new tab and then you can see it's analyzing based on your own query it's searching across Tanstack queries code base. It's scanning all the different files present in the Tanstack query itself. Isn't that amazing? It's going through all of those specific files, which you can also read through. And based on that, it's giving you an answer where it states Tanstack query automatically deduplicates identical queries that are executed that are executed simultaneously, preventing redundant network requests. So what is query deduplication? When multiple components in your application request the same data at the same time, Tanstack query is smart enough to recognize this and only make a single network request instead of multiple redundant ones. This is called query deduplication. Now this is so much more easier to understand and it even gives such a deeper analysis behind all of those. And not only that, you can see over here on the right side, when it was analyzing through the actual code base, it now has not only just analyzed through the code through the code base it has also provided you information of the exact line to where your doubt in the in the code base was present it's showing you exactly where request to deduplication code is present in the code base you can see line number 130 in this exact file and if i scroll over here you can see line number 130 in this part over here it's showing you exactly where that request to deduplication part is present and not only this in many instances, when I actually ask DeepWiki to, DeepWiki to go deeper, it, it also shows me the exact function of that particular code base in the right hand side over here. And it also shows you the file name it's present in. Isn't that pretty cool? Now there's a lot of things you can do with this. You can actually become so much of a better software engineer because now understanding GitHub repositories have become so much more easier. And this is going to help you understand how to write code and how to follow best practices and also how to follow high level and low level system design architecture practices to ultimately allow yourself to make an application with all these modern intricate features or just be a very highly intellectual software engineer that knows how larger applications work at scale. So yeah, if you're a software engineer, you definitely should try on deepwiki.com as I think this is going to help a lot of people to a lot of amazing things in a very short time and there's also one last thing you should know for example let's say there is this github repository or basically npm package named react toastify which a lot of people use in their react projects to show toast messages now let's say if i go to its github repository home page i can click over here now i'm in the actual github repo page of react toastify and from here if i want to understand how its code base works all i can do is i can remove github from here and i can replace it with deep wiki and as you can see it directly loads up the deepwiki.com page of react toastify giving you an elaborated in-depth explanation of how the entire react toastify library works behind the scenes so this is also a cool quick feature that you can use to analyze github repositories and their respective code bases so yeah, that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, drop a like and subscribe for more.